What's good YouTube? It's Jay here and you might notice that for once in the first time in a long long time We actually don't have a face cam going for an actual full playthrough or something uh, I'm doing that because frankly I've come to the conclusion that this mod is literally just too beautiful to not Like to, to not experience the full visuals of it. So we're not doing the face cam. It's normally over here in the little corner We're not doing it for this Which is gonna be a theoretically short playthrough because we're not gonna be doing a big galactic conquest in it um we're going to be doing just a small, uh, what is it? I think it's this one, uh, 62 planets or maybe core worlds. I don't know. I think we'll just do core worlds for now, but uh, yeah, I decided that, um, also we're going to be doing is the empire. I decided that, yeah, this mod is just way too pretty to, you know, have a little box sitting in the corner, taking of all the good visuals. So all the reason I'm also doing such a short playthrough is because this is still a beta. Um, there's still a couple of issues and stuff that need to be worked out as far as I'm aware, anyway. Um, I'm in the beta testing group chats and stuff, so we, we regularly talk about, you know, what needs to be fixed and whatnot. It's just not worth doing an extremely long series on such an arguably short version of the mod when the newer version is debatably right around the corner. Uh, so, yeah. Otherwise, the full map is like 100 planets, so... Or it is, it's exactly 100 planets. Um, I kind of want to... Uh, I kind of want to do one of these. I, I'm not a big fan of one planet starts, personally. But I mean, it's something, it's something to have fun with. Alright, so yeah, we're going to start at tech level 1, max 5, and all of that stuff. Uh, we'll play on medium difficulty, and we will start the game. I already posted a video on my YouTube channel. Uh, on the channel, rather. I don't know why I say it like that. I'm talking like third person. Um, I already posted a video with a bit of a little bit of um, some gameplay from the new mod. Um... I'm going to let you guys read through all of this, because this is a lot. Uh, well, we'll start with this. My lord, I'm afraid that we sat out of for too long rebellions and the criminal were unifying under a single leaner. Yeah. Okay, so the victory conditions are conquer every system. Uh, tech upgrades and economic structures are based off of freighters and gas depots and whatnot. That's pretty much it, really. Um, like I said, I'll let you read through all of this. But for now... Gonna do all of our typical stuff. And uh, yeah, we just got a little small s sector of worlds. Like I said, don't want to do anything too, too strenuous. We've still got the basic important worlds like Kuat and uh, Foros. Well, I don't know why I pointed out Foros in specific. But we got a lot of cool worlds. We got Hapes. The only thing that aren't, the only ships that won't be here, I think, are gonna be Celestian um, Dauntless Cruisers. And. Monka Mark Cruisers, maybe? Actually, I don't know. Now, think about it. I don't know if we'll find any Monka Mark Cruisers, because they don't... That you need Monka Mari. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll figure it out as we go. Uh, we're going to start off with... By building a couple of Vindicators. Some Tartans. And then, um... Once one of these slots clear, we'll start our next tech upgrade almost immediately. Also, we're going to leave him here, because I don't like the idea of not being able to retreat. That's just stupid. Um, Ready for action, sir. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. We'll, we'll leave all of them here for now. We'll do some scouting, see what's around us. The Rebels are already doing a tech upgrade, which is perfectly fine. We'll move our gas depot over here, get that out of the way. And <laughs> Borlias has a... CIS Remnant Fleet, or whatever you want to call it, a uh, stronghold, I don't, I don't know. And Axis seems like our best target, between these two anyway. Uh, we'll scout out Tython, which only has a level 2 station. I have never heard of a planet called Constant Nasia. Interesting. Uh, Tython is... See, so yeah, and Axis is our target. <laughs> Tython is a little bit stacked. We might we might suit that Biss too. That's a nice little planet to have for you know to be an Imperial. Mm, yeah, we might just do Tython or uh, Biss. You know, I always used to wonder was Tython just or was Biss like a corrupted Tython? In theory, it makes sense. Like it, it, head cannon, it makes sense. Actually, no. Anaxis is significantly less guarded, so we'll just go there instead. Another reason why I didn't feel like doing a face cam too is, uh, ah, I don't look my best today. I don't know why. Just wasn't feeling it. 
So I'm like, you know what? We're going to be playing a pretty mod. Let's just turn the face cam off for a while. Because all my all my content used to be face camless. So now you get to enjoy these absolutely stunning visuals. Um, all the way. Even the stars in the sky or in the galaxy look amazing. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Let's do a sensor ping. That's a big black. That's a big radius for that. Uh, they've only got an Eclaminer, a Dreadnought, and they're probably not going to build these up. I also don't hear any music, so maybe uh, I'll turn it down a little bit. But... Oh, it's there. It's just not playing right now. Choose your reinforcements. Uh, we'll start back here. Moving out. This looks like a fleet that you would have right as right after the Empire like just fallen. With Darth Vader leading back. literally every battle. Location confirmed. I don't, so people, people have jokingly criticized me for being a, a Rebel Alliance supporter. A lot of that's due to the fact that, in theory, the Empire is not a bad idea. But it's just run by really, really stupid people. You got Palpatine and Vader that murder everybody for the simplest of mistakes. And it's just like, dude, how can you, I, I couldn't, I can't, I can't be an Imperial fan just because of that. I don't know. Obviously not a real, actual big deal, but it's just always kind of funny. Okay. Uh, we're gonna... Keep these all at the main fleet. And start moving up. Vader is about as emo as it gets. Palpatine is just absolutely fucking crazy. Excuse the language. And, um... I don't know. Just could, it's just, just hard to be an Imperial supporter. Like, their ships are cool. But I like the diversity of the Alliance more. I actually want to see how these fight. Ooh, you know what? I didn't test that when I was doing testing. It's so hard to keep a consistency with this. Let me turn this down just a bit. That's probably extremely obnoxious. Alright. It's hard to keep a consistency with, this, with volume in this mod. Or in this game. Just because, uh... You know... I, I do a lot... I try to do a lot of different content creation with this... With this game. And I'm constantly readjusting the volumes for certain things. Like with the video I did for the Battle of Coruscant... I amped the volume up to like a thousand, so you can just hear the turbo lasers popping off constantly. Another one will go up. Interesting. Alright, you know what? We'll send the TIE Bombers over here. I thought they, they're just chucking V-Wings out of that station. Let's take this out. Let's take the missile ports out in that way. Oh, we're doing so far. So far, we're doing so good. Th that's it, mate. No, that sentence is made literally no sense. So far, so good. That's what I was trying to say. Looks like we lost our first wave of tide bombers. That's okay. Let's move this vindicator over here. We'll have the Venator and the two Eclameters start sieging from a bit of a distance. We're gonna try to save this Tartan cruiser. That's really beat up. We'll send you out of here. No point in losing ships this early on. Also, ties. Everything in this mod looks fantastic. Ties included. Like, look at that. Look at that beautiful model. I didn't think the Eclaminators would get that close. We really, you know what the, you know the the universe deserves right now though a Dark Times mod. We really need a mod based in the Dark Times where you know the Empire just formed. Uh, you know we've got Separatist holdouts, remnants, etc. You know, I, I really would like that. It's one of the most depressing times in the Star Wars universe. You know the Jedi, the Jedi that actually really didn't do anything bad. I guess arguably. Well, in general, I guess the Jedi tended to never get bad when it came to, you know, getting purged. That, you know, you know how that whole situation went down. But, 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 you know, all the poor Jedi, they just tried to escape everything and live peacefully. Ended up dying off and getting murdered by Vader and his onslaughts. That music plays every time something happens for each faction that's different. Uh, but I, I feel bad for them. 
I feel bad for a lot of the people that had to live through that time. Uh, we're going to speed this up a little bit. And then we're going to build a bunch of gladiators, I think. That or more vindicators. Now we're going to build four or five vindicators. They're basically baby Star Destroyers. So. They got the 181st TIE Fighter Wing, or Fighter Wing. Uh, these guys use 18 TIE Interceptors. Um, these bonuses also stack. Nearby fighters are get it, or granted, get it, Jesus. Nearby fighters are granted 25% armor, shield strength, damage, and fire range. That's insane, actually. Imagine if the Rebels had a hero like this. They also have the Judicator, which is a ISD-1. Uh, this is a gladiator. I didn't realize he had proton torpedoes instead of, um, Building started. your standard concussion missiles. That's kind of cool. Okay, so we might not need all that. We'll build a quasar so we can start getting some extra income going. And we don't need to defend ourselves just yet, so pretty much all ships we build are on the offense. Are on the offense. Uh, we'll build a gas depot station thing here. And then uh, we'll scout out Arcania. At your command. We're just going to let this speed up again. So this right here, this is what I meant by freighters. Um, if you remember from the last time I played this mod, freighters are our biggest source of income. They take up a crap load of population points, but just to balance it out. Um, like this one brings us 25% of the planet's base income. So we got a few 500 extra credits. Construction complete. And the Rebels and the... Wait, Commodore? Oh, wow, they have a line of, of, up to here already. Interesting. Alright, well. Not, what the hell is this fleet? There's a Dreadnought class. Heading out. Construction complete. Also, we could go to our next tech level now, which is exactly what we're going to do. We have the ability to build Victory Class Star Destroyers. Um, how much does this cost? 12000 We're going to build up another station over here. I think we should be able to afford it. Maybe? What do we have here? There's something that's always just been super entertaining, seeing all these uh captured ships, or, you know, old Republic ships being used by pirates and stuff. And they're all not bad ships. I mean, the V-Wing's a fantastic starfighter. It's just lightly armed. It's like the A-Wing, but before the A-Wing. Fast, you know, doesn't have much going for it in terms of protection, but it's fast. That's a strong suit. It can outrun you. It can't outkill you. Alrighty. I also really love the ship design. It puts it in a perspective, though. How tall do you have to... Like, when, like when you compare... Like, Alright, really quick. When you could Jesus. Um, what in the world are you doing? Oh my god, he's trying to go to the planet. This is actually kind of cool. Uh, anyway. When you look at ships like this, it just makes me want to compare sizes of, like, the like the people that work in here. This isn't really a big ship, but this fighter right next to it? I don't know if this is just a scaling issue or what. He's having a problem. I, I just it just makes me curious how big is the ship on the inside you know it's a it's a silly thing to be curious about but at the same time it's not I guess oh he's in a precursor to he can be upgraded to an ISC that's right like I said we're basically in the dark times right now the empire's in power everybody's an asshole Uh, we don't need to call the Tartans in for this one. We've got Darth Vader in the 181st. We should be okay. Corset. Corset. Alright. And as for... Uh, let me let these guys get in here. <laughs> Prepare to die. Uh, and all theory, the Tie Fighter is actually a really fantastic Starfighter design. Just a lot of media when you think about it, it really makes them just look bad. And the Empire kind of makes them look bad on occasion. I 
Let's just let him stay, stay to this range for now. Damn, this mod is so good. It's so pretty. Like, just... Also, the Venator is, like, easily one of the sexiest ships that have ever existed. By a mile. Uh, we need more. Where are our time bombers? These things can't last for long. Shit. We'll let Piet sit back. And let the rest of our ships go up. I, I take my statement back from earlier. We need these Tartans really badly. Because... There's too many fighters. Reinforcements on route. Ready, sir. Cannon arm. I'm on. Cruiser here. Uh, let's see. Frequency yeah, see, the Tartans will chase. The Tartans will take off or chase off the uh, other star fighters, which is good. Move really attack. good. Okay, these guys back here are still having, like, one of those starfighters, one of our starfighters is still having problems. He's trying to get close to the planet. He's trying to land. Okay, can we not focus the camera on that anymore? I just want to watch the battle. Oh, that was about to be a really nice shot. Rip. Oh, man. That is so cool. That V-Wing is... Oh, well, never mind. I was going to say, that V-Wing is doing a fantastic job of strafing through turbo laser fire and missiles, but never mind. I really do like that they made the Tartans into an actual gunship. Instead of like a Corvette. It, it seems more fitting. I've always liked watching big ships like have this locomotive where they can just maneuver like this. It's always been pretty cool to me. Well, the Empire. I can't believe I actually just said that. Look, I feel I feel weird now. <laughs> I actually just said for the Empire. Okay. Might as well use our discounts for Palpatine to our advantage. One of the biggest things that's cool right now is there's no land battles. Because initially the mod was only using the original um, land maps and whatnot. But now they don't. So. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, so what does he do? Yeah, this is, uh, you can't even read his ability. Um, really, like, Akua can be upgraded to ISD-1 Grey Wind, removing his capital debuff from his fleet commander bonus later in ISD-2 at Monitor. Uh, he's a brilliant commander. Uh, under his command, frigates and corvettes and frigates perform majestically, gaining 20% shield strength. 40% movement speed and 30% fire range. However, Thrawn does not see the point of using capital ships. I don't, well, that's that's a bit extreme. I don't understand why they um. I don't understand why they just lose so much. Okay, well, yeah, those are some extreme debuffs, man. My goodness, I guess he doesn't like using them, but Jesus. Okay. Well, he'll, he should be okay in this fleet, because it's literally just frigates and other small ships, so... Yeah. Should be okay. Um, where are we going to go next? Karita's a nice little target. I think we'll have Alderaan next, and not actually, and not in the blow it up kind of fashion. <laughs> Let's see, um, I think I'm gonna just let all ships jump out of hyperspace this time. Actually, let's see who's there first. On my way. Dun, 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 dun. Ready. 
Uh, we're gonna build a couple, or oh, one victory, I guess. I was gonna say a couple, but never mind. How much? Okay, we'll build some uh, carriers. I was gonna see how much those cost, but or how many population points they take, but it doesn't seem like a lot. So. Oh. The criminal underworld just killed my Mothma. Or we'll just beat her, I guess. What do I got here? As the Emperor wills. Cruiser reporting. As the Emperor wills. I should have moved Jay Mary Jane out of here. Oh well. Da -da -da -dum, da -da -dum. Ah yes. What a fine Imperial fleet. What a fine one indeed. I am waiting. What do you wish? You got a lot of starfighters to work with. Ready. Awaiting your what ship does she fly? She has a Z95 man on her. Yes, Move up! Yes. Com link active. I'm here. Ready to commence. Com link active. What is it, Commander? Let's get all of our tart links with the starfighters. Right away. Put them at the front yes, of the fleet. Commander. Right. As you will. Oh man, these, this looks so good. Look at, look at that backdrop, dude. That is so cool. So when it comes to landing sequences, I mean, because there's no upside or up, there's no upside down in space, these ships will literally have to flip over. I mean, in theory, this could be above a planet and we're just upside down, I guess. I don't know. Because think about like Battles of Coruscant, like where the ships are hovering right over the planet. Who's to say that's on the on the top part? There's no such thing as a top part of a planet, I guess. Well, actually, there is. There's a, a north and a south pole, but... If these ships wanted to guard the planet and land troops, they'd literally have to be upside down, I guess? I don't know. I need space experts to tell me something about this in the comment section, please. Where's the next target? I maybe shouldn't have jumped them all in at once. This is taking a little longer than I thought. Come on. Okay, yeah, that, well, so ships will move faster when it's their own unit type, you know? Um, ships will move faster when it's their own unit type. When it's just, when it, but when you, you know, group... Uh, multiple ships together, they'll move as fast as the slowest unit. Of course. Just, you know, obviously makes it makes it makes sense, but it'll hamper them significantly. Yeah, take out that Nebulon. That's a lot of starfighters. That's a lot of starfighters. We're, we're doing a good job of clearing them out. Those gunships help a lot. Those uh, tartans, rather. This is so pretty. Ah, the Venator. You, you never get the proper treatment you deserve. In theory, though, the Venator is such a flawed ship. It just looks really cool. Uh, overall, in terms of, like, logic, that, that ship is extremely flawed. I'm gonna get hate for that statement, but it's true. It has so many like bad weak points. It's just not a it's not a great ship in theory in combination like by or by itself is not a great ship. In combination with other things, I mean yeah, it's a good it's a good ship. It, but for it to be a frontline capital like, you know, battleship, it's a terrible idea. It is not a good ship for that kind of thing. And I say that because I mean exhibit A. It's literal biggest weakness is on the front of the ship. It's you know, it's hangar bay is literally along the, is literally along the hull. If you don't, <laughs> after all these years, if you don't know Venator, Venator, you know anatomy. I mean, you know, it's hangar bay is literally this, and it only has these other two mini ones, and it doesn't have a, it really doesn't have weaponry for it to be a, a frontline capital ship. It, it's best as a carrier. It's not meant to be. It's not a good. It's not a good capital ship. It's a good carrier slash. It's a good carrier capital, but. It's not a good capital capital. Like when I see a ship like that, my first thought is, not I'm going to put this on the front lines. <laughs> you know? We need to get a planet that can produce Republic ships. 
Uh, Rendili looks like our best option. It will be done. Moving to Let's location. move everybody around. Let's see, what do we have here? We could build a level 5 or 4 station. The fuck is I'm building up our level 1s though. And just getting more ships produced. Um, I feel like gladiators wouldn't be a bad ship to have right now. We could build high hunters. Um, construction complete. I don't think this has a hyperdrive, does it? We'll, standing we'll build by. a few of them. Tie defender standing by. Tie defender standing by. Tie defender standing by. Tie defender standing by. And we'll build a couple more victories. Okay. Let's send all these ships to the main fleet at Aldi. Alderaan. Aldi's a grocery store. <laughs> Cruiser reporting. We are good. I'm gonna leave those two victories there though. We're gonna focus we're gonna start focusing on um building up the rest of our fleets. Rendili has Rendili has actually some diversity in its fleet. Interesting. Let's see what's at four roast. Heading in that direction. One more time. I've got a is that a recusant? Yeah. Yes. Alright. Two four roast we go. Oh, these guys are toast. Like, when you see something like this coming out of hyperspace, yeah, don't fight it. Just get out of there. Yes. What is it, Commander? Ooh, this is a lot of stuff to work with. What is your order? There's Where bombers, is TIE fighters, more Awaiting stuff, the elite I squadrons. What now? What do you wish? It's uh. about time. Standing by. Okay. Uh, I think we're all good to go. Ready. Uh, let's go. Commencing attack. Awaiting your command. We're gonna send the. I was gonna send my vindicators, but there we go. We'll send the. We'll see, yeah, we'll send the vindicators up first. Alright, send this guy there. Awaiting instructions. This guy there. Cruiser reporting. This victory down the middle. This vendor are kind of playing in the back more. Ready for order. Let's send our starfighters up. Do you have a plan? Let's look at these beautiful tie hunters. Does every squadron come with one of those? Because that's actually kind of annoying. The enemy is approaching. Well, there's a tie hunter when its S four is closed. I mean, I guess it makes sense for them to have a scouting ship, you know? But it's still kind of annoying when you're trying to, like, actually look at the fighters. I set this up way too close. Uh, can I select you? There we go. I've made some Imperial Grade A mistakes here. Let's uh, get you guys back. We'll take out these smaller ships first. Actually, no, we'll take out the um, interceptors. They have missile launchers. See, so, yeah, I believe the Tie Hunter was made in response to the X Wing. I'm 99% certain. Take that guy out. Ready, sir. I'm gonna try to save this vindicator. If not, it's not a big deal. Ready for orders. Yeah, I'm too big. Yes, uh, take that interceptor. Ready for your orders. I will try. I think we should be good to move up now. Alright, so those fighters are done for. 
Where are these escort carriers? I want to take a look at these. These things are so cool. Rogue Squadron 3 was such a good, good game. It's actually really hard to see the turret on top of it. Oh, there it is. It's that whole piece. I think. Really sick design. Let's have the fighters guard this middle lane right here. So I guess the best we'll see of the Thai hunter is just in the, in the cutscene since it's so hard to literally like pinpoint the fighter. I mean, you can see him around this guy. Yeah, there they are. Tie Hunter is easily my favorite Starfighter design. I like it more than Defender. It just looks cooler. Let's get right on top of that station. Sure. But yeah, if we're being serious. Working for the Empire is too dangerous, man. You're guaranteed to possibly die if not from um your your allies, or, you know, your enemies, rather your allies. We'll send the TIE Hunters ahead so they can take out the rest of these guys and look cool while doing so. Those anti-starfighter missiles. Let's see if we can get some more good shots of them, too. Uh, we should be able to. We should be in firing range of that. I forgot about all about our tie bombers. Now that I think about it too, what does this tie hunter have? It has uh, ion cannons. I'm pretty certain. It's basically a B wing. It's got dual lasers, ion cannons, dual anti uh, missiles. You know, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And Rogue Squadron, the damn thing, had proton torpedoes. I guess that makes the tie defender also, in theory, B wing esque. But you know. I guess a lot of things you could argue are B-Wing-esque. Yes, that station has some shields. Oh shit. Let's move all of you up. Don't want the TIE Hunters just up here by themselves. Granted, they're manhandling these Starfighters without problems. Oh, that poor V-Wing? Why did the camera zoom in on that V-Wing, right? This is about to die. It didn't deserve that. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if the Empire only started off with Ty Hunter's Arc 170s, like gray color Arc 170s and gray color viewings. It's the 50 quote unquote version of the Dark Times. That's it. Die. All of you. We split your home in half. And this is a Separatist world, so we'll be able to build Separatist ships. Fun fact, the Empire actually used to use Separatist ships to make the Separatist holdouts look bad. They used Separatist equipment, you know, hard military, military weapons, you know, droids specifically, their starships, etc. They would use it to do terrible things with them just to make the uh, Empire look good and the remnants look bad. You know, they did the same thing for the rebellion too, and a lot of other people. They did. They made Jedi look like terrorists. And all that. We can actually build another precursor, but I think I'm liking the small ship philosophy we're kind of sticking with right now. So we'll stay with that for a while. We're gonna be as traditional old empire as we humanly can right now, or you know, the original, like the first series empire. I'm actually going to put these two ships back in this fleet. Uh, only because when it comes to taking Redili, I want to have just all the extra firepower I can get. Let's build this. We can actually start construction on our level 4 station so we can uh, build some or get our next tech level going. I don't know how long the series is going to go because there really aren't that many planets to deal with in the, in the first place. Dude, the, the criminal underworld is putting in work right now. But, um... 
Uh, like I said, it's not really meant to be a long series. With this just being a beta, I don't want it to go on for forever. Also, we're not going to do another drop it and just let our units tra trek across that very long map. Uh, we'll just put Vader in to spawn in first and then uh, attack. Out. Let's go. I have a bad habit of taking my spy units out of the fleet, but frankly, there's no point in doing that. Uh, because Mera is actually a really, really good fighter hero, it seems. <clears throat> Alrighty. We are going in. They've got some decent decent amount of ships here, too. So they got a decent number of ships. Salt frigates are still no joke. I remember the horrors from my Empire playthrough like a year ago. In this mod, uh, before they made all those super changes to the shield, hard points, weapons, all that. Which, by the way, if you want to read the patch notes, I'll link you the Discord in the description below. And there's an area called Empire War Remake Change Log. You can read everything there. But, unfortunately, there is not a comprehensive um, change log. Ooh, that's a lot of bombers. Okay, let's um, Reinforcements on route. get all of you guys out here. On route. Reinforcements on route. All Starfighter Killers go Advancing. to the front. Confirmed. That includes victories, in, in theory. Yes, These things are fantastic at killing Starfighters. Let's go. On our way. I'm going to make a lot of Venators, though, when I, when I get the Republic world. I uh, when, I, when I capture this world. Like I said, I want to, I want to kind of, I want to kind of give an old Empire-esque feeling. Vindicators, and then let's get the cool guys in here. We had seven of these before, didn't we? Oh, from the escort carriers. Come on. Wooey! You thought it was gonna be easy, didn't you? <laughs> We have so many ships to to Mike to macro. What is it you uh, want? Ready for the and to micromanage. Yes. You that I don't even know if it's necessary to keep doing what I do, like grouping these guys under number one, number two. I don't even know if that's really necessary anymore at this point. We've got so many ships. That's sick our tie bombers up to this. Vader, how many ships you want? Yes. We will make U5 attack this, U3 will attack this Dreadnought, the five Vindicators will attack the other Dreadnought, or no, you guys will attack this Assault Frigate. Uh, the Venator will also do the same. Focus on that guy. Just watch the Mayhem go. Cause, jeez, Louise, like just these backdrops are just killing me. They're so, they're so good. They look so great. Everything about this mod is just great. The visuals are great. The ba the combat feels great. You know, it feels, it feels rewarding. Uh, we'll take out the missiles. Or did I just target the hangar? I did. We'll take out the concussion missile launchers. Alright, those two are both gone. Let's focus our bombers on this now. I'm waiting. Let's get you out of here. Choose your position wisely. You are in need of my expertise. Actually, we can just have everybody focus on this guy. Actually, no, we'll have everybody move up. Weapons ready. Actually, we'll have all five of the vindicators that focus on this. Um, somehow we haven't lost a Tartan since we started, which is amazing to me. It also kind of mind blows me how much, how insane Vader's character overall is. Like, I, I feel bad for him because of all that he went through when he was Anakin. But at the same time, like, at the end of the day, he still, I don't know. I, I feel like he still have a choice. Vader just went off the deep end and was like, you know what? It's fuck it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna live this terrible life and kill everything and just feel sorry for myself the whole time. I don't feel that bad for Vader because frankly, like I said, he had a decision. He could have made different choices. He didn't have to get into the but 
That's the power of the dark side, I guess. I really like this ship. Now, granted, the color scheme is definitely a little weird. A little different, right? I'm not going to say weird, but just different. And I don't think this ship would be able to hold that many TIE Hunters. I, I guess, like, you can compartmentalize them correctly. You know, just tuck them in there. But. I wonder, I do wonder if these, these asteroid models are ever going to change. There used to be a different type of uh, station. And then, is that a soul frigate still going? I, oh, I didn't even realize we killed it. <laughs> I haven't seen it since we targeted it with the TIE Bombers. Also, sorry for the steam alerts in the lower right-hand corner. I'm going to get rid of that at some point. I'm probably just going to turn those off when I start playing more. What is your directive? I've got nice copy. Um, okay. Let's just speed things along real quick. Got some Mark 170s to kill off. And we will be golder. We are victorious. For the Empire! Okay. So I'm going to separate these ships just a tad bit. We lost some time on too. Oh, that's okay. I'm just going to keep it like that. Complete. Beginning construction. It will also, we just hit our level 4 station at Coruscant. So we now have the next tech upgrade to go with. Hmm... Ooh, we can build our first Star Destroyer. We can also build Venator Freighters, which gives us a lot of money. Construction complete. Construction oh, yeah, the Eclaminer 2s. So yeah, there are upgraded versions of the Eclaminer for the Empire. Uh, what the hell is happening? What is happening to the Rebellion? They're literally almost dead. On my way. We're heading out. This is about to be a full playthrough against just the criminal underworld at this rate. <laughs> to like, what all do they have here? Wow, they don't have anything. That's unsettling. Hmm. All too easy. Okay, well, let's take a Commodore. These guys have a little too much power now. I want the rebels to have something and kind of make it exciting. I don't want to. I don't want to just fight only the criminal underworld. You may dispense with the pleasantries. Choose your reinforcements. We got more than enough star destroyer type vessels to take out this planet. So these are Climater 2s. What's the Go difference on. between these? Uh, developer uh, Kyle Turley instead of single and more powerful shield driver. Cool. Let's uh, get the 181st in here. Let's get Throw and Piet in here. And let's get all of our Tartans in here. There should be more than enough to take out the station. Do these still have buzz droids? Yeah, there they are. I'm ready. What is it you mm. want? Ready for the kill. Reporting. Yes, sir. Let's get in this. Need of my skills? I already have a plan. Wow. Copy. I copy. Changing I course to intersect. Our capital ships can also go for the station, I think. Let's see. Yeah, this is not going to be a problem at all. What is your analysis? Direct all fire on the shield generator. Oh shit! Yeah, you help out too. <laughs> I'm 
Let's see. Add that's one shield generator popped. Let's take the next one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Venator does carry a lot of Starfighters, though. Acquiring target. Watch for enemy ships. Ready for your orders? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, Commander. All right. This thing's shields are going to be down any moment. So yeah, this isn't this isn't difficult by any means. Also, let's um. There's also that station over there. Or this uh, gas depot. Gas trading depot. Position. Yeah, we're we're doing we're, we're we're gonna have fun with this. We're gonna have some fun with this. Wow, they took that in they took that out in one run. That's impressive. So I guess all squadrons have these little tie scouts. Interesting. My tie spotters, I guess. He's, wait, is, is there is there Imperial in there? Wait, am I, did my, are my eyes deceiving me? Also, damn, these models look so good. Area. All too easy. Do you have something to report? This should give them a hard time. Whoa. Okay. Two skippers got away. That should be enough to count as a squadron kill. Planetary control. There we go. Beginning construction. Okay. I think we should be good for one more one more attack somewhere. The Sundered Heart has died like three times now. Uh, Heading in that direction. Let's check out the Corillian Sector. Hmm. Let's move this way here. Oh wow, we got a lot of things to work with, all of a sudden. We can separately build these, that's interesting. I'm going to keep... I'm going to build a few more of these. I'm going to keep leveling the station up. We will build a few of our, the Arquitans. I'm going to level the station up some more. And then we're going to go ahead and attack her yeah. with the full fleet. I don't know why I keep moving her. I don't have to do that. I really don't have to do that. Okay. Now that's perfect intro music. Perfect, perfect intro music. Also, you know what I should just do? I'll just call one of these. Or two of these. Do a sensor ping. Boom, there we go. Instantly in range. Are all these a climate or twos? Let's move out. Proceeding to coordinates. That's an easy kill. A Venator versus a Venator. We're Just different Starfighter compliments. Indeed. I figure we need a larger fleet for this. So. We'll put Piet on the side over there. Let's get these gladiators in here. The, or not gladiators, so Tartans. The, the Tartans are really useful. They are super good at taking out starfighters. Destination confirmed. Deploying squad uh, on route. I feel like escort carriers are kind of good, just like the center of a fleet. They have a lot of range. Really hard to kill because they're so small. We we are stacked and ready to kill some somebody. A lot of people. Which would be more than enough to take up the station shield generators. Ready. Let's um let's do some more grouping. We can we can let the battle play while we do this. Ready for the kill. 
Let's put long range weapons on. Everybody, go crazy. I'll make this group four. You can focus on taking out the shield generator on the station. Piet, you focus on taking out that Venator. These victories can be the same. Let's get the gladiators in here somehow. And let's watch the chaos unfold. This is, it's rather ironic watching these two versions of the Venator, like, in the same battle. It's just like, it's like a homage to the Old Republic is truly dead. Look at all these missiles, man. That poor Venator. You know, one of the things I see people argue too is why don't the rebels have more Ven uh, Venator class star destroyers? Well, you gotta realize the Venators were designed to fill a man quota that the Old Republic could, you know, muster with the whole, you know, millions and millions of clone troopers that kind of existed, you know? I think people seem to forget that. You know how much manpower it would take to probably manage one of those things? More than, but more than you should probably want in one singular ship. And the, and the Republic could replace Venators and clones. Rebels really can't replace that much manpower. If that one ship goes down, and it almost had every single position filled, that's a lot of people that could possibly die. Not worth it. That would be a morale, a morale blow and a whole bunch of other things. It's just not worth it. Not to, saying that they probably didn't have a Venator or two, because I'm pretty certain Ron Coda did with his uh, militia group. But still... Uh, there's one Crusader, but I think that's a spawning unit that wasn't here before. Yeah, we, we, we're doing some work right now with this fleet. <laughs> oh, did that Venator actually get away? No, it doesn't matter because it's actually... It didn't literally get away, but... Okay. I'm just going to make Thrawn a little group right here. Um... Yeah, we'll do that. Let's put our forces effectively. I knew you would say that. Did you know? Let's send you here, Palpatine. I'm gonna keep supplying this fleet. Uh, let's get these other stations upgraded. And let's get our next tech level going too. Uh, what else we got? Got a few more victories, a few more... We're going to build a lot of Tartans. The Tartans are actually extremely useful. Uh, I'm going to build a So, get ready to hear cruiser reporting for the next two minutes. A few gladiators. Is that so? Oh, damn. What the? <laughs> uh, this is what they're attacking my station with. Interesting. No! And we'll see you in the next episode.